All right, guys, we are back again with another episode of Attack on Titan here. We have episode 25 or episode 9 of part 2, season 2, whatever you want to say. We are here. Finally, it has been a little bit since I did the last episode of Attack on Titan. I think it a little bit over a week. So what I remember is we have the group there. There's like two groups now. There or sorry, two. Two groups. That's how you count. Um, there's the ones with like Annie and Reiner, and then there's the like Hans, Levi, that group. So I don't know if this episode they're gonna be coming together or what the heck's going on. I'm excited to see what happens because you know there has to be like a bit of a team up coming, like for them to go up against Aaron. And that whole thing, like, I'm not even going to touch that because I don't know what they're doing with Aaron. Just, yeah, I'm excited to see what we get into this episode. And hopefully, you know, as, as per most episodes, it's going to be a banger. So let's just hop right into it. See what happens. Let's go. Hmm? Who the heck is that? Was that? Yeah, was that Gene? Oh, that was him like, oh, okay. I was going to say it looked like Gene. It sounded like Gene, but no. Okay. That was probably himself like proving or trying to convince himself that what he was doing was right for him because this was in the phase where he was like with flock, right? Where he was, well, not with flock, but he was like debating which side to choose because yeah, he's telling himself like, you know, I'm not going to like, why would I stop myself from becoming what I wanted to be? Just this like, you know, relaxed, lazy guy with my wife and kids in a nice central region. who's drinking liquor all day. Like he's, he's trying to tell himself like, you know, this is right. It's, it's what's right for me. So it must be the right thing. He's, it even looks like it's hard convincing himself. Even with that, he's like, he's like, no, no, nothing else can get through. Just ignoring Hans at the window. Just. I'm busy. Yep. The prime real estate. Just think of the prime real estate, baby. Yeah, that's like the bare, the absolute bare minimum of what we need. Yeah, yeah Mikasa, just no hesitation. Yeah. Parse it, like, mainly because it's the right thing to do, right? She's like, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to let Aaron slaughter anyone. But you know, you know there's a little hint of fuck that Aaron guy. After everything he's done to me, saying that the scarf needs to get thrown out, I'ma kill this bitch. <laughs> yeah, then what? Yeah, that that is a good question. Like, even if he if he keeps the powers, still four years. Yeah, like it's a fair question because that's what I've been thinking this whole time. Like. Yeah, obviously, the, the course of action that they have to take at this point is basically stopping Aaron because, like, you know, we can't just let genocide happen. But then what? Like, what would happen after that? Like, isn't, isn't that almost screwing Eldia over? I know I've been saying and, like, a lot of people have been saying that there's probably some, uh, like, better option if you actually just sit down, think about it with a bunch of people and try to work out, like, the best course of action. There's probably something good, but, you know, it's not like... After this, after they stop Aaron, they're just going to be able to have like a sit down meeting with Aaron and be like, OK, hold up. Like, think of what's best for everybody. Right. Like Aaron doesn't give a shit about Marley, doesn't give a shit about anybody. I don't know. He might change his mind because like Aaron, you know, there is still good in him, I hope. But still, then there's the case of like everyone else. Like, you know, even if they somehow save Marley, like they somehow spare them. Is Marley going to be better or are they just going to still be dicks? Like, you know, you, you, it, it, there has to be like a foolproof plan. Yeah, they'll be skeptical, but still, that's just a temporary fix. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, they're not just going to sit there and wait for destruction, right? Yeah. Fair point. Yeah, that's that's basically it, right? It's like that's the only reason that they can give. Yeah, and that's that's enough, right? I guess like if you want to maintain your humanity, there's a there's a line you have to draw, right? Like, sure, we can we can survive for the rest of our lives, and our generations will be okay. But everyone's gonna be feeling that, like every single person in uh, every, well, every single like Eldian or every single like member citizen of paradise 
they're constantly just going to be thinking like we murdered like the entire world <laughs> like like there's no going coming back from that right like i guess it won't matter at that point and eventually it would fade but geez like anybody who can live with themselves after being part of something like that is that who you want to be the only people left in the world like you can you can make the argument that good will prevail anyway you can say that you know every not everyone is technically part of it because some of them are just random citizens but if they go on living their lives knowing that that's what it gave like is that bad in itself i don't know they're getting really psychological with this i like i'm not even four minutes into the episode and i'm already i've already paused it like four times <laughs> Oh, damn. Got them all back there, Erwin, right up front. Got everybody watching. Yeah, and everyone that Jean's lost, too. Marcus, I think his name was? He's like, yeah, no, I feel you. boy, Jean. Yeah, it just took some reminding, right, of, of everything that they've lost, everything they've been fighting for. Jean is still a good man. <laughs> I'm really happy because I like part of me right at the beginning when he was thinking of like the, you know, having his life that he wants and all that stuff. And I do know because I've been downloading like all the episodes to watch. I've seen the titles of other episodes and I know that like one of the episodes coming up is called Traitor. So I was thinking like I, I've been trying to think this whole time, like could one of the group be a traitor? I'm really hoping not, but I really don't think it would be Gene at this point because Gene... He has his, yeah, he, he's trying to convince himself, but he's been through just as much as anybody else, basically. Like, he's he's had his own redemption arcs in, like, other seasons, so I really doubt that they would, like, all of a sudden make it so that he's oh, just okay with genocide, right? He kind of grew out of that whole wanting, like, uh, the, the peaceful life, because when he joined the Survey Corps, that's when he kind of left that behind. He's just like, no, I, like, I, I would still like that peaceful life with my wife and kids and all that, but there's more important things to do. And he just needed to be reminded of that. After everything he went through, it's kind of normal. It's kind of almost expected that you'd be fluctuating between like, okay, do I want to continue on the difficult path? Or do I want to just take it easy, join the join the side that has the likely chance of winning? The fact that he was able to just think of people like Marcus or Marco, maybe? I, I forget what his name was. It was definitely Mark because my name's Mark, so it's easy enough to remember. <laughs> just no, fuck. Gene, honestly, like, Gene might be like, what, what would the term be? The This, my sleeper favorite? Is that? No, that's definitely, I sound like a fucking 30 40 year old man trying to use slang i'm, I'm i swear <laughs> but no it's like he's my secret favorite character like he doesn't come up much he doesn't have that many moments to himself but he's still like he's there i'm a huge fan of him oh, oh okay so we all just together now okay hey very anticlimactic way of joining together but hey you know that's fine <laughs> bit of a divide Mm. Yeah, it's like, don't even fucking, don't be asking those questions. We're here. Drop it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, don't you, don't you get all high and mighty on us, man. Like, just because we're here somewhat fighting for what you want doesn't mean all of a sudden you're in the right you dick <laughs> it's like what your 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 term of justice is to kill the entire island yeah gene fucking tell this man yeah because we didn't want to be eaten alive yeah like a normal fucking person yeah none of us would be in this situation Ooh. the boiling the boiling it's like it's like the, when you have like a kettle going in the background and it's just getting like higher and higher but now they're just using like stew boiling <laughs> as a frustration point that's kind of cool but um no like i really love this dynamic in this show it's like any war right you know each side thinks they're doing the right thing but you know along the way they're doing some fucked up shit. 
like some really messed up shit. Uh, like obviously, I'm more on the side of paradise, you know, Gene Mikasa. But it, it's weird that you can see where the general is coming from and like what he's doing because yeah, he has a point. Like like yeah, all you all of you are technically devils because you guys have been doing everything that Marley has been saying you would to like destroy the world beyond yourselves, right? So like it makes sense that they would think they're the evil people. But then it's also like you guys started this. Marley started this. It's just it's a discussion that this show has many, many times. But it's interesting seeing like two actual sides like arguing about it. Like not just like from a distance, you know, meeting over here, meeting on the other side, being like, oh yeah, Marley's fucked. Oh yeah, Paradise is fucked. It's actually these two are together discussing it. First to devastate Marley. Yeah, but did that give them an excuse though? Yeah, two millennia. It's like, yeah, everyone who was there was dead, bro. <laughs> I, I love Reiner just sitting there like a kid, just like, God, God, I've been through this so many fucking times. I'm sick of this argument. Yeah. yeah. That's actually, you know, that's a fair point, too. Sorry, I know I'm pausing a lot, but, you know, this show does cause, like, a lot of discussion. And I'm just in a fucking talkative mood, I guess, today. But, no, it's actually, that's a very good point, is there is, like, a, quite a few of the people here have actually experienced Marley. Like, they've seen it. They've seen what Marley is. And even though Marley, like, the idea of Marley is terrible and what they want is, like, awful. but They've seen the outside world, and they know that those people are just people, right? It's it's same as how Marley, they, they haven't been to Paradise Island, so they can just say, oh, it's filled with devils. They're all awful people. It's the same with a lot of the people in Paradise to the rest of the world. They're like, all these people have been trying to kill us. That's fucked. Everyone must be just evil. Let Aaron kill them all. So that adds on to the previous discussion of, like, you know, how could they live with themselves? It's it's They've sort of tricked themselves into thinking... Well, not even tricked. They, they've just been so grown into thinking that everyone on the other side is just evil and deserves to die. Rather than thinking like, oh, it's people. Like, they're just people trying to survive. And they're, they're taking it way too far. Yeah. Now that's the important question. Yeah. Trying to avoid it. But it, if it if it comes down to it, right? Yeah, you guys might stop him, right? Yeah. Honestly, you know, props to Annie for like figuring that out because that definitely, they literally any anime would have done that. They would have been like they would have immediately had like you know there's a chance to take him down, but then Mikasa or, or Armin would have come in to stop them, and they might still do it. But I'm glad that they're like calling it out. They're like. They're, they're not just letting it be some trope that would happen, like, where we're going to be like, oh, no, they're going to kill Aaron. Oh, nice, Armin comes in for the clutch. It's like, we could all see it coming. We knew it was going to come anyway. So, like, call it out now and at least make it, like, respectable. If if it actually ever ends up happening. Yeah, oh, yo, chill. Yo, I didn't say that, but, you know, if you want to go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Levi to sleep. Men's like, just leave me out of this. Men's probably just pretending at this point. <laughs> hmm? What's that? Yeah, she's like, I, I don't want to fight. I understand. Yeah, I want to protect my people. Just not even my people, my father. That's it. Kill everyone else. <laughs> Great. But if we have to kill him. Don't stop us. Fair, fair. Annie's being the mature one. I respect that. After everything from season one, you know, I, I like Annie's character. I'm sorry. <laughs> yep. Dinner's ready. <laughs> Everyone relax. Y'all just hungry, hangry. Come on. What, she's just smiling? Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. She just wanted. Oh, 
She was like, I gotta be in this. Yeah. Yeah, she just wanted to be a part of something big, right? Yeah. Damn. Yelena is spitting facts. Everyone's just looking down. Ashamed. Oh. Oh, calling out everyone individually? Okay. Because you breached the wall. Yeah. Everyone. Everyone's done the dirty. Or I shouldn't have put it like that. Everyone's done some dirty work. Just shot Sasha to death. Yeah. Everyone, yeah, it's it's war, right? Everyone does some. Oh damn. Even I was sad about that. Straight up. Gabby, you monster. <laughs> Marco. Oh, damn. Okay. Man's a hot topic today. Oh, that's a good point, actually. Oh, oh, shit. I didn't even catch that. Because, yeah, Reiner and Annie were both like they were part of Marco dying. They could have saved him, but they said, no, no, he knows our secret. We got to kill him. We got to leave him to die. Oh, does Gene... Oh, the truth behind his death. They're actually about to fucking tell him. That's brutal. I forgot about that. You monsters. You assholes. <laughs> well, respect to Reiner. Taking the responsibility for it. Yeah. Damn, Jean's not even making eye contact. That makes me wonder if they... I think... Yeah, just asking if he said anything. Okay. I think... I. Sorry, it was so long that I can't remember. But didn't they maybe think that uh, there was something up with his death? I think there was like a comment about like where was, where was his vertical gear sort of shit. And then didn't like Annie use the gear at one point? I don't recall. But maybe they kind of knew something was going on. Yeah, rather than just talking. <laughs> We're not talking. Yeah, actually having a somewhat civil conversation. <laughs> yeah, he was having like a personality thing going there. Yeah. Yeah, someone knocked some sense into him. Yeah, just shut up, Reiner. We get it. You feel bad. You did a fucked up thing. You feel bad. Oh, oh, what was that? Who got cut? Damn. Okay, you know what? Maybe. Oh, damn. Bro's absolutely lighting into him. You know, I can't say I'm surprised. You know, a lot of people in Gene's shoes would do the same thing. And I have, a, like, Reiner, he's just going to take it, right? He's not going to turn into a titan. He's just going to let himself get beat up. I feel for Reiner, though. Like, obviously, you know, did some fucked up things. He kind of maybe deserves this a bit. But, like, at least he feels the guilt over it. And he's a, he, he's even admitting the weirder stuff that he did. Like, you know, pretending like it wasn't, or acting like it wasn't his fault and killing the titan and saying it was for Marco. Uh, he's even like admitting that to people, being like, "Yeah, I'm I'm a really messed up individual. Like my head is just screwed with." So I I don't know I I I don't I don't I really don't know what to say. I feel for him both. I don't think he deserves that, and no one no one is stopping. Why y'all just standing there? Oh, Gabby, going for the yeah, because Gabby yeah they have that relationship with Reiner. It makes sense. Damn. Crazy how far Gabby's come. Straight up apologizing for it. For everyone. Oh, damn. Straight up. Oh, damn. On her knees, begging. Yeah. It, it just gotta stick together, right? It, we are still people like yeah we screwed with you 
we we did some fucked up things to you, but it was for what we thought was our own. Like we thought it was for the best for everybody, for the people we knew, the people we cared about. And now that they know that like these people, that the paradise citizens, they, they they're getting screwed over too, right? They they got way more screwed over. So they feel bad about it. Like Reiner feels bad. Um, Gabby feels bad. Falco feels bad. I, I don't. I don't know about like the general and Piek, but you know they're just they're just over there. We don't got to worry about them right now. But no, obviously they feel bad. I'd say if anyone should apologize first, it should be them. Like I said, each side did fucked up things, but yeah, they were the ones that didn't really think it through. Like at least a lot of the paradise citizens, they weren't straight up bloodthirsty for like you know the the Marlian people or for the Eldians that are helping the Marlian people. They actually uh, people like you know Sasha and I'm sure Jean. I, I don't remember what it was like, but e- even in like the first few episodes of season four, when they were attacking Marley, they weren't like straight up just being like, "Oh, we gotta kill." every single person we come across, right? It, it was like, you know, they, they they were just doing their job as the army, as the military. The Eldians that worked for Marley, they were a lot more, other than like Falco, they were more just kill, kill them all, kill all these devils. And so it makes sense they apologize more. Sorry, I'm going on like a shit ton of rants this episode, but you know, it's, it's a fucking banger, bro. I love this episode so far. They're actually having a conversation. They're taking this whole episode to address the issues that each side has with each other. It's fucking goaded. I'm loving it. Yeah. Gene's like, I'm good. Got it out. Wait your seconds. (laughs) Yeah, that's the important part. (laughs) I think he just needs time to think, right? Oh, damn. The general even being like, oh, he cares. Yeah, okay, maybe you know, knock something into him, right? He's like, yeah, he saw that happen. Feeling a little bad. <laughs> Levi just like, God damn it. I why can't I why can't I just sleep around here? <laughs> damn, poor Gene, man. He's got a lot going on. I, I get it. I, I understand, you know, beating up Reiner. Maybe got some frustrations out. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he's being nice with him. Respect. Damn. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was going to say, he got healed up quick, but the whole Titan thing, right? Damn, I thought he'd have a few bruises. <laughs> Even Gene. I love the Gene. Like, he's kind of just immediately moving on. He's like, okay. Got it out of my system. We're good. You know, wake the fuck up, though. <laughs> <laughs> fair. Kind of fair. <laughs> I think I think a beating to the face kind of equals out, you know, killing one of my best friends. <laughs> Annie, you just shut the fuck up. <laughs> Are they taking control? Straight up? That uh, makes sense, right? Steam engine. There's a fucking steam engine around here? I don't remember that. Oh, is that the oh the the lady? The, oh, is he straight up about to execute her? Flock, you fuck! What is wrong with you, bro? Well, maybe not. He's looking incredibly psychotic, but didn't put a bullet in her yet. So, I mean, that's good. Good. I don't know that lady though. She wasn't like you know the best person though. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> but no, that episode, that was really, really good. I Like I said, I love that they just, they basically took this episode to flesh out all the issues that these sides have with each other. And even, even some of the issues that weren't publicly known. Because, yeah, I, I actually completely forgot. I was talking about Marco, but I forgot that he actually, he got killed. That, that part just didn't come to my mind. Like Reiner and Annie and Bertle just screwed him over. So I'm glad they kind of, they, they straight up, they said, you know, we need to let, get this out. We don't want it to come up later, right? Obviously, you know, Yelena kind of forced it, but it is good. I'm really happy that they 
did that because otherwise that would just be something, you know, still weighing down on this group. It feels like they're sort of getting a bit of a clean slate with each other. Obviously, there's still a bunch of like turmoil, a bunch of drama going on behind the scenes still. But at least I think everything is sort of on the table. They know every fucked up thing that they've done, at least, you know, with Reiner and Annie. Um, the general, I don't know, Piek, you know, like I said, they're being a little bit quiet. They were just staying out, out of it. But there was also the scene of the general, like, you know, kind of uh, sympathizing for Gabby after she got kicked and was like begging for forgiveness. So I think that might have kind of, to him, it was like, you know, if this girl who I like literally not that long ago, she was saying like how much she wanted to kill the devils, how much she wanted to fight everyone on paradise, how much she wanted them exterminated. If she's on her knees taking hits for Reiner and then immediately like begging for forgiveness from the person that was beating Reiner and like genuinely meaning it, then that means something. Even to the general, he has to admit like, you know, maybe maybe there's a point here. Maybe there, this is something I should think about. At least I hope so, because the general, he's not been like the most fleshed out character. Honestly, I don't even know if the general is like the proper way to refer to him. Is he even a general or is he like a lieutenant or something? I don't know how that, I don't know how that works. But uh, uh, no, I, I would like it if he was a little more like, you know, I, I guess sympathetic towards the paradise people rather than just seeing them as the enemy. And, you know, after everything that just happened with Reiner, even like seeing Reiner beg for forgiveness or no, he, well, not even, he was like, don't forgive me. <laughs> he was like doing the opposite. He's like, please don't forgive me. I fucked up. So after he's seen like Gabby and Reiner doing shit like that, that might've been a, a sort of wake up call to him about like, okay, you know, our side has done some fucked up things, you know, fair. Like if someone did that to me, I'd be pretty pissed off too. No. And you know, speaking of that, Reiner and Gabby, I fucking love their characters. It is crazy to me that after season three, I could have like Reiner would have gotten a redemption arc. Well, honestly, like it's hard to say because they never made Reiner like this straight up evil guy. He obviously he was working for the other side, so we didn't like him too much, but he was still like, he wasn't what I would consider a full blown antagonist, I guess. Well, technically yes, but you know, you know what I'm trying to say? He wasn't being like, oh, okay, now that, I've shown my cards. I'm going to just kill everybody on the enemy team. He, he still, like, basically when he came out, he was trying to talk with Aaron and be like, come with us peacefully. No one needs to get hurt. So that's what I mean is, like, he wasn't necessarily a bad dude. But he definitely had a bit of a decline. He went through a bit of a slump there. So I'm glad that he's sort of been on the rise. Part one started it, kind of almost making him, like, the the main character for the first few episodes because we were in Marley following him a lot of the time. And I respected that. And they've just sort of been going up with him slowly. And even now it's not like he's, you know, better. It's not like he's in the best headspace, but he has at least apologized in a way to everybody being like, I fucked with you guys. I regret it. The guilt is destroying me. It's been destroying me for a long time. So He's at least trying to, um, like, I don't know, get the redemption to repent. I, I use that word quite a bit, but I don't know if that's actually, like, the right word. My vocabulary is a little fuzzy every now and then. But, no, him and obviously Gabby, like, fuck, part one, she was just the most dislikable among the characters, I think. And now, like, she's completely changed. I really, I've already said it many times. I'm not going to go too much into it, but... She is definitely becoming one of the better written characters of the series as a whole, honestly. Like, I really appreciate what they're doing with her. And Falco. Honestly, like, Falco was kind of the MVP of part one. And I feel like he's kind of been getting a backseat. Even, like, becoming the Jaw Titan, all that. It's sort of been, like, on the sidelines. Because, like, Gabby is getting more of the focus of, of those two. Like, obviously, the other characters are getting more... But Gabby, like, you know, she's doing, she's putting in the work to be, like, the, the favorite of the, of the two in this season. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. And, no, everyone else, like, I kind of liked that scene where Yelena was kind of going through everything, everything bad that people have done. And she's more or less doing it to try to, like, p 
piss them off, right? And be like, yeah, you guys all fucked up. Because she wants to die, like Jean said. She's like, you know, she just wants death. Because everything she was working towards just kind of failed. It flopped. But no, so she's like airing them all out. And I think that kind of, that almost helped a bit because it's like, it, it got thrown into people's faces and they kind of got to, you know, hear what they did. And no one straight up, other than the Marco thing, nothing got stuck on too much. And it's like, yeah, well, it's, it's kind of nice, honestly, to hear that everyone has done fucked up things. Like they, they've all, they all listened to Yelena and they've heard every single thing, every bad thing that these people have been doing. And they're like, okay, well, I did bad too. So maybe we're kind of equal at this point. I don't know if that's what they were going for, but that's kind of how I felt it. I like to think of it that way. Cause yeah, like it's war. Everyone does bad shit in war. You can, you can argue that like, you know, you're fighting for your, for your home, but does that just mean killing all these people is all of a sudden good? No, no, it's definitely not. So I don't know. And, and also like, sorry, there was a bunch of good moments. But the discussion of like, you know, what would Mikasa and Armin and like Connie and them do if they have the chance to kill Eren? Like, I like that Annie's saying, we will give you a chance. We will give you a chance. If you can talk to him, we will let you. But like there was sort of, she didn't say it, but you know, there's that little like subcontext in there being like, oh, but you know, if he has to die, don't get in the way. Don't, don't do that bullshit of just coming in, saving his life. And doing that. Honestly, I could still see it happening. I could still see there being like a bit of a fight there. Like maybe they'll try to talk to Aaron. He'll he'll deny them. Annie or someone will try to kill him. Mikasa or Armin might save him. And then maybe that in itself would knock some sense into Aaron. He'd be thinking like, oh, why? What? Like even after I deny you, like why are you still saving me? Why are you still helping me? And I could see that. It, it, it's a very predictable thing. So knowing Attack on Titan, they're going to go with the least predictable. So I don't know what's going to happen. I could see it happening and just pissing Annie off completely. Like, you know, what you fucking said that you wouldn't get in the way. And then it would just be a big brawl. But but no, that's that's not the point. This Focusing on this episode, I like it. Of course, they had to tease what's going on next. But the fact that this episode was everyone just basically sitting around a fire talking about their problems in a way that wasn't like boring because we know the history going on here and like they knew it had to be done like you know they're not just all of a sudden gonna be a team that's working together no problems right they have to talk about this shit i really love episodes like that where they're not afraid to take the time to do what they have to do even if it's not like following aaron um, destroying civilizations or flock taking over the train station or the, the docks. Sorry. Uh, it's, it's nothing like exciting, exciting, but it's needed. It's necessary. And it's even intriguing in itself in a different way than usual. Like, well, I don't know. Attack on Titan. They're, they're kind of almost a 50, 50 with like the action and just the straight up character moments. Like you love both equally. So it's not like it's anything new. It's not like it's groundbreaking, but I respect. I very much respect that they would take the time to do that, especially in the final season, where a lot of people are probably expecting the like, action, 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 and it's just no. You know, we, we're going to talk about this. We're going to sit and talk. <laughs> that was just a banger. That, that was that was great. I have to stop. I keep thinking in my head like that was my favorite episode. <laughs> that was my favorite episode. That no, every single episode I've been watching recently, it's like that was my favorite episode. It's like that's not how it works, Mark. You can't do that. <laughs> All the comments down there. What what is your favorite episode? Pick one. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, no, I'm gonna add the video off there because I am hopping. I'm gonna do the next episode immediately after this because like. Yeah, I, I have to. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated on this series or any of my other, sorry, any of my other series that I've been doing or have done. And comment down below your thoughts on the video, the episode, whatever you want to say, just for spoilers, obviously. And I do have a Patreon link down below if you want to help support the channel a little bit more. Plus it gives you early access to the videos and it's highly appreciated for me. So, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.